Hello, everybody. Andrea here. I want to go over the basics of the tooth numbers. So let me just first say this is the American system. When I'm talking, though, I'm going to talk about the Canadian system. OK, so what you're seeing on the screen is the American system. So first, also, I want to point out the teeth on the outside, those are the permanent teeth. The teeth on the inside are the primary teeth. So for children, okay? So let me say the upper right is quad one. The upper left is quad two. The lower left is quad three. The lower right is quad four. And how you want to be looking at this is if your patient was the other way around like this, okay? So, and I, I even have to think about it sometimes. So, although this is a mirror image, so I'm not gonna show you on me, I'm going to show you here. So this is exactly how it is. So your patient's upper right side, upper left side, lower left, lower right, okay? Perfect, so the Canadian system, this is how we do the teeth number. So it's going to look different here. So it would be the 1817, one six, one five, one four, one three, one two, one one. One is quad one. And then for quad two, we start, I'm going to start from the molars again. So this would be the two eight, two seven, two six, two five, two four, two three, two two, and two one. Another way to look at it is when you're looking at the back teeth, the eight is the wisdom tooth. The seven is a molar. The six is a molar. Oh my God, sorry guys. Eight, seven, six, five is a premolar. Four is another premolar. Three is the canine. Two is the lateral. And one is the central. Sounds confusing. I know, feel free to write this down and take notes, okay? I'm going to show you another tooth numbering system afterwards, and then I'm going to do a recap. So are you getting the idea yet? Maybe pause the video, take some notes, and then come back. Quad three now. Let's now start at the anterior. So that's the front teeth. So it would be the three one, three two, three three, three four, three five, three six, three seven, and three eight. So the three is quad three. Remember those other numbers, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So the three one, three two, three three, three four, three, five, you know, so on and so forth. And then quad four, four, one, four, two, four, three, four, 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 five, four, six, four, seven, four, eight. If you're just listening to this for the first time, and let's say you just started dental hygiene or dental assisting school, you're going to feel so overwhelmed, but I promise give it like a week and you will know this like the back of your hand. Trust me, it will be fine. I promise you. And then I want to talk to you guys about, actually, I might save this for the other image. So let me pause this. I'm going to stop sharing my screen, and then I'm going to open up another one. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. This is another way to look at things, and then you will also see what the teeth are called. So not just the number, but what the teeth are called. Now, I'm going to quickly just do a recap. This is the top arch, the top teeth, which are the maxillary teeth. This is the bottom arch, which are the mandibular teeth. The ones in the middle are the primary teeth. So I'm not talking about the primary teeth yet. I just want to talk about the permanent teeth, the adult teeth. So remember, quad one, quad two, quad three, and quad four. Feel free to go back now to the beginning of the video to re-listen to that and then come back to this one. I'll just repeat myself. Quad one, quad two, quad three, quad four. And then just a quick recap of the top ones, okay? So this is the one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six, one, seven, one, eight. Now to quad two. What uh two one two 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 three two four two five two six two seven two eight. But now we're going to talk about what the teeth are called. This is the central incisor, the lateral incisor, the canine, or the cuspid. They mean the same thing. The first premolar, second premolar, or called the first bicuspid or the second bicuspid. I know we should just keep the same names, but we like to confuse you. The first molar, second molar, and third molar. The third molar is the wisdom tooth. So remember how I said in the last part, you have the central, lateral, 
canine premolars and the molars. So this is just more specific. Again, central incisor, lateral incisor. The canine, the first premolar, second premolar, first molar, second molar, and third molar. In brackets, it says approximately what age these teeth come in the mouth. And that is good to know, because let's say you're seeing a six-year-old, the mom or dad might go, oh, when does their first molar come in? Well, typically age six to seven. So if it's not in perfectly at age six, don't be alarmed. It might just be late. Age seven is okay too. If it's not in by age eight, we start to go, hmm, maybe we should take an x-ray to see if the tooth actually is there. Maybe it's just hiding underneath the gums and needs help. So I like in brackets where it shows the when the teeth are supposed to come in. So I hope this makes sense, you guys, okay? And just to quickly talk about the primary and the baby teeth, notice how there's a lot less. They just have a central, lateral, canine, first molar, and second molar. They will eventually fall out, of course, and then bring in the permanent teeth. This can take time. Sometimes they have some of the baby teeth in the mouth, some of the permanent teeth, that happens over time. Now, how would you call these out? This would be um, this would be quad five. I had to, I had to think about that. Five, six, seven, and eight. So, for example, this would be the five one, five two, five three, five four, five five. The six one, six two, six three, six four, six five. So it's different than the permanent teeth, where it's quad one, quad two, quad three, and four. For primary teeth, it's quad five, six, seven, eight. So you're gonna probably watch this video a few times to get the handle of things. Comment below if you guys have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.